So today's children's offering was going to help Pit Stop, which is a fun service that all of our area eight churches get together once a month over at Turlock Church to do uh, fun games, worship, and they feed you. It's a wonderful event. I wholly recommend everybody to come out for the next one that we have. I know that we're putting off for the summer, so I want to put that out. It is putting off for the summer month, but come the fall, it's supposed to open back up and more fun for us. That being said, we do have tonight here at our Parkwood Church our own Vespers and Game Night. It's going to be in the Bellman Hall. Uh, it's in the bulletin, 6.30 tonight. We'll start out with singing and uh my own mom just got back from a mission trip from Ireland. She's going to give her testimony. And then we're having food and games. Bring your favorite snack. Otherwise, you guys are going to be eating things like cake pie and ice cream. I guess it could be a worse night, right? <laughs> that being said, today's story is about not eating too much of that cake pie and ice cream. <laughs> so Anne grew up in a good family, a family that knew that Jesus wants to live inside of our hearts, and, and doing so means also taking care of our bodies. So Anne's family was very, very careful about what they put in, because they wanted to be the best they could be for Jesus. They would eat good fruits and veggies, and even when it came to snack time, they stayed away from things like cookies and chips and ate nuts and other veggies and lots of fruit. And then, only on very special occasions, they would get to have sweets. And wouldn't you know it, tonight was one of those special occasions. And they were getting a special treat that Anne loved so much, jelly beans. Does anyone here like jelly beans? Oh. Now, Anne's favorite wasn't one of my favorites. And you know what? It wasn't one of her siblings either, so she lucked out. She liked the red and pink ones, and she liked the yellow ones, but her favorite ones were the black ones. Does anyone know what flavor the black ones are? I heard it from some adults out here and even there. Yeah, licorice. Does anyone like the licorice jelly bean like Anne? You do, and so do you. Yeah, my husband does too. There are people who like it. I'm not a big fan. Lucky for Anne, none of her siblings liked it either. So they would carefully take all their black jelly beans out and let Anne eat them. Oh, what a treat. Nighttime came. Mom and dad were picking up after their fun, and there were still all these jelly beans left. So dad asked Anne, Anne, would you mind taking the bowl of jelly beans back to the kitchen for mom to put away when she's done with the dishes? Okay, dad. Anne's taking the bowl of jelly beans back into the kitchen, and she notices right there on top are a bunch of black licorice jelly beans. Now, Anne's already had probably a little more than she should have because no one else likes them. But boy, do those look good. And she didn't get sweets very often. She knew what that meant. You know, too many sweets meant upset Tommy, but oh, those looked good. The closer she got to the kitchen, the shinier they seemed to get. And they just got so tempting. And she put a few in her mouth. And then a few more. By the time she got to the kitchen, there were no black jelly beans left in that bowl. They were all in her little cheeks like a big chipmunk holding acorns for the winter. She gobbled them up as quickly as she could. She got into bed and it was kind of hard and they didn't seem to taste as good as the first one she'd had. And she got into bed and it was really hard saying her prayers that night. It was really hard to fall asleep. She tried to count sheep backwards and forwards. She tried to think happy thoughts, but all that kept coming into her head is, you really shouldn't have ate those black jelly beans. You know what it's going to do. And then sure enough, her tummy started to hurt. Oh no, she felt really bad. Finally, she got out of bed. She ran to her parents' bedroom. Daddy, daddy, she whispered. Daddy didn't answer. Daddy! Daddy! She got a little louder. Daddy woke up with a start. Anne, is something wrong? What is it? Daddy. Now tears started flowing down her face. I ate all the black jelly beans, and I know I shouldn't have, and now my tummy hurts. Daddy understood, and 
He took her off to the side so Mommy could sleep. Oh, Anne, I'm so happy you told me what you did. But that's why Mom and Dad had the rules to not eat so much sugar. We do it because we love you and we care for you. We want to make sure you don't get things like tummy aches. He took Anne to the bathroom and opened up the medicine cabinet, got some medicine out to help her tummy settle, and then he put her back to bed, and together they prayed. They prayed for forgiveness, and they prayed for thankfulness, too, that the Lord was going to make her better, and that he already had forgiven her because she'd said she was sorry. And you know, that moment stuck with Anne. She knew mommy and daddy loved her a lot, and so does God. He gives us rules in his Bible, not because he wants us to not have fun, but because he wants to keep us safe. And the story of Anne actually comes from Miss Brenda's bedtime story, so I kind of stole it. <laughs> and it came with a beautiful memory verse, too. You like those stories? I love Miss Brenda's bedtime stories. There for your generation, I grew up with uh, <laughs> Uncle Arthur. That's right. I'm a little older. But James 5.16 tells us, Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Anne was healed of her tummy ache. And anytime we do something we shouldn't do, the first thing we should do is to confess it to God. And you know what? He promises he's going to forgive us every time. So next time you do something you know maybe you shouldn't, like take an extra jelly bean or two, I hope that you remember God still loves you and will always forgive you. Now, because today we have a special speaker who's going to talk to us about how we should put good things in our bodies, I have two special helpers, Violet, Rhea, could you stand up? And they have a basket of goodies that has some ideas of some better things than jelly beans to put in our bodies. Also, there are some seed packets with different fruits and herbs that are good to plant in our garden. Uh, I hope you guys will use at home. I know it's a little late for planting, maybe in fall <laughs> for the next season. But I hope you guys will remember to listen to God, listen to your parents, and have a very happy Sabbath. Mm -hmm. 